President, please be seated. The court is now back in session, and the chamber gives the floor to the defense team for key support for the key document presentation in relation to Trump Cooperative and Kantajan Security Center. Council, do you have the floor? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, well, in order to answer your last questions, or the question that was put to us before the break, um, Mr. Kusompan and his counsel consider that the three revolutionary flag issues I was going to quote from briefly and the few documents that I also planned on presenting to you is in the, because I believe that this is uh, the aim of this hearing, also to present these documents to the public and to the press. Well, these documents are directly related to his position with regard to Tramkak and the Krang Chang Security Center, and therefore, Monsieur Kusampan believes that if his defense is not allowed to quote from documents that uh, pertain uh, to his defense, he does not wish the, uh, present our presentation to continue. This is our position. With regard to uh, the issue at hand. President, the international lead co lawyer, do you have the floor? Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, let me be clear about my position. And my colleague understood we were not objecting. I stood up because I wanted this to be on the record so that we could use this record later. So my point here is not to object. I simply wanted to draw the Chamber's attention to the fact that we considered that this email prevented us from presenting certain documents. Uh, and this is the only purpose of the comments I made before the break. Just one question. Council, from the um, channel to the specific, are you saying that these documents are pertaining to Kramta Cham or to the scope as, provi as um, uh, foreseen in the email? Yes or no? If yes, ask your questions or present, sorry, present these documents, not ask questions. If no, Tell us, and it can be done at a later stage. 
So the first assessment is obviously for you. This is a document regarding this is a document hearing regarding Tramkak Cooperative and the Krang Tachan Security Center. We are the Kyosampan defense team. We are here to defend Kyosampan. We're not here for any other reason. We're here only to defend Kyosampan. And you're asking us to present uh, documents, key documents, not key documents just for the sake of history, but key documents for Kyosampan's defense. In the context uh, of the Krang of the cooperatives and Krang Tachang and the way we understand Que Sampan's stance with regard to the cooperatives and with regard to one of the security centers uh, in Cambodia between 75 and 79. So we're selecting key documents that seem to us to pertain to Que Sampan's position back then or in any case to the level to his seniority back then all the way down to the detail. And then, of course, this is the issue of all trials in which people who are accused are very far removed from the facts that are committed on the field. They're f f f f facts that were committed at Krang Techang. And on the other hand, we have Kyo Pan, who, for most of his time, was in Phnom Penh. So we have to know what you want. If we want us to participate in very generic hearings on key documents, um, we had refused to do so until now, but today we accept it because we have the possibility of replying, which did not exist beforehand. And now we're being told that uh, the defense's position and that the key documents that the defense selected does not correspond to the objective of the hearing in terms of the topic that is being uh, dealt with. Of course, we take note of this, but uh, of course, uh, I believe that this mail, which was only sent to us in English, which of course does not necessarily make things uh, easy uh, for our team, which is practically 100% French-speaking, uh, maybe it was very clear in the fact that uh, it gives the possibility to everyone to find uh, his own explanation, his own interpretation of this email. But that's another issue. So, yes, we consider that the documents that we were about to present uh, uh, fall within the scope of this hearing, but this does not appear to be the Chamber's position. Uh, because with regard because in response to a non-objection, you said that you did not want me to bring up issues that relate uh, to uh, Que Sampan's position. Que Sampan therefore ordered me to not continue with this presentation if the Chamber deems that the documents we intend to present for his defense and to explain his position do not suit the purposes uh, of today's hearing. So this is primarily about the role of the accused counsel. Counsel. Counsel, do you have your attention? Um, if I understood you correctly, and try to analyze the relevant part of what you said, this evidence is primarily about the role of the accused, for which we have a specific section. Yes or no? The relevant parts of what I said uh, were maybe very limited because what I was trying to make clear to you was that what we want to do is put in perspective
in a practical as well as theoretical sense, issues concerning the cooperatives and uh, the Krang Tachang security side. I said basically putting things in perspective more than uh, Pio Sampon's role because here the point was to read out excerpts from Revolutionary Flag which everybody agrees represent uh, the doctrine uh, of the Khmer Rouge regime. So it's interesting to know in s such documents, in, in revolutionary flag, what was the internal uh, doctrine of the Khmer Rouge power in relation to cooperatives and in relation to the population. And then maybe we could go more into detail. So we have been speaking, however, about this non-objection for the past hour and 15 minutes. So time is indeed running short. President, the chamber does not have a concrete view as to the understanding of what has been described by the Council for Kyosun Pon. However, the chamber will grant you the floor to continue with your key document presentation this afternoon, and you may proceed, Council. To add, and we will decide on a case-to-case -case basis if there is a problem with this document. Despite our best efforts, it was impossible for us to figure out if you think that these documents pertain to today's segment or not. So please present, and we'll proceed on a case-to-case -case basis. I apologize, but under these conditions, I cannot work. I can't work on a case per case basis. I have sent my document list a week ago. No one uh, made any comments about this, and nobody told me that I was on the wrong path. So I'm going to present documents. It's been one hour already, an hour and 15 minutes that we're focusing on one non objection. So, yes, uh, frankly speaking, uh, I must confess that, uh, yeah. I, I apologize, but, uh, you know, the idea of speaking again and being interrupted again because th apparently this does not meet the Chamber's needs, uh, I think that, uh, well, uh, it's a bit exasperating. And, uh, yes, uh, so either you let me speak, but if you're going to – if this is going to lead to endless debates each time on the validity or not of the documents I'm presenting – I, I think that, that this is a bit of a waste of time. Councillor Verken, we gave you the floor. Do you want to uh, speak or not? Uh, do you want to present these documents or not? You have now the possibility of doing so. That's what the Chamber is doing. Do you want to do so, yes or no? I will try. And the same for what about uh, the hour and 15 minutes that we wasted? Council Verken, you had the time to prepare yourself. So maybe you did not prepare yourself. Uh, uh, so I think that you're going to have to, uh, you know, face the consequences of your lack of preparation and for the lost hour and 15 minutes. 
President, uh, Council Wekang, you have been given the floor by the chamber, and the chamber will uh, consider if, if you have more uh, presentation to make. However, you are still having uh, more time until 4 o'clock, and I believe the time may be sufficient for your presentation. You should proceed. No, Mr. President, that will not be enough time. I am hearing now that I haven't prepared myself, but I sent my document list a week ago to all of the parties. An hour and 15 minutes is taken away from my presentation, so now, and on top of that, I'm being accused of not being well prepared. No, I absolutely disagree uh, with the way the chamber is uh, behaving uh, to the defense, and I think it's better maybe just to stop. President, the chamber is of the view that uh, the council is not performing his duty as a professional council, and you have been granted the floor, and we also say if you, are, if you need more time, the chamber will consider that. However, you refuse to make your key document presentation in relation to Grand Chan CUD Center and Trump Co Cooperative. For that reason, the chamber decides to return today a proceeding. Look, uh, President, uh, Mr. Kiyosum Pond, it seems that you are now uh, changing your position in relation to your rights to remain silent. Please uh, specify that. that. Kiyosum Pond, as I have stated, I'd like to maintain my right to remain silent. However, when I need to provide my clarification to the chamber and allow the chamber to grant me the floor. And that is the rights that I am seeking from the chamber. And please, don't mention that my council does not have the ability to prepare the documents. We have been interrupted on so many occasions. President interrupts. Your council has been given the floor, and Mr. Kielsen Paul, you are instructed to sit. Please sit down. And you have the right to ask your council to make the document presentation, and of course, the chamber has the discretion to manage the document. And now, the chamber decides to change the proceedings and we will resume on Thursday, 30 April 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock. This information is for the parties and the general public. Security personnel are instructed to take his Pon and Nunchi back to the detention facility and have them return to participate in the proceedings on the morning of Thursday, 30 April 2015, before 9 o'clock, the court is now adjourned.